Hello, my name is Dr. George Machaki and welcome to Management 150. This is Practical Business Math for, uh, uh, for Finance or Business. Uh, you're taking me fully online. This is going to be your orientation. So you're going to reutilize uh, Blackboard course management system. So let me go. The orientation should be about an hour. Uh, you're required to look at this before you go into the class so you have a general idea how the class is laid out, what's going on. I taught this class uh, several years ago face-to-face -face for a couple of years. Uh, and then there was a little lag. I was teaching more of a finance class. And now they're going on to teaching this class fully online also. So, um, and uh, the good news is that uh, there's an interactive software there's a lot of YouTubes. I think you'll do well. A lot of people are very uh, uh, nervous about taking a math class online. This one you'll do well. Remember, part of the math class that you're taking here in business, mostly you're going to have a little algebra, but mostly it's your fractions, uh, decimal percentages, uh, and the use of a uh, financial calculator. All right, so let's go into our class. So you're going to go utilizing course, uh, a Blackboard course, uh, a Blackboard course management system that Harper utilizes. You're going to click on your course. Now, if you're looking at this next semester or the other semester, uh, the online procedure is the same, the orientation is the same. I don't re-record. Re Those of you who had me for other classes, you realize that I record live. I do very little uh, editing unless I really mess up. Okay, so here's our class. You're already logged into the class. First thing I want you to understand is that you're going to have to purchase a book as soon as you can. And I think the best option here for this book, when we go into the syllabus real quickly, will be the ebook. You could also purchase the loose leaf book at Harper College for a price. So let's go into our syllabus real quickly. I'm just going to click on here. Remember all your information, those aren't familiar in Blackboard. You have everything on in here that you're going to need for this book. And I'll go through it in real quick detail, but I want you to explore. Uh, just like you would go into a new classroom. Uh, this is by orientation. Okay, so I had the syllabus. I'm gonna. Uh, I already clicked it on here because I already opened it up. But you click it on. There's a PDF file. So here's the course. Here's uh, when the class ends and starts. Everything else you need. Now required for this class, you have two options: loose leaf textbook that Harper College has for two hundred forty-six dollars. That means you get to. You need to connect passcode. There's no way around it. So you get a loose leaf version like this. You got to get your own manual. You get the book. You get everything else for two hundred forty-six dollars with the passcode. Without uh, okay, I know some of you may have uh, friends or something else that uh, are, are letting you utilize the book. You can't do anything else about the passcode. The connect passcode, if you want, my recommendation for this online class, since it's an eight week, uh, unless you really need the book. You could get the e-textbook with the Connect Access Code for ninety dollars. It's worth for it's good for one hundred eighty uh, days, and then it goes away. But it's really a real. It reduces the cost of the student. So you do need the twelfth edition by Slater, and it's you know practical business math and procedures. You do re need the required access code because all your exams and all your homework will be uh, uh, utilized through the software. It's an interactive software that works well uh, not only in my face-to-face -face classes but in an online class because you have uh, your it's open 24/7. You can do your homework. You ha they have, there's YouTube. There's uh, uh, videos from the author. There's practice quizzes. There's flashcards. Excellent uh, price for uh, ninety dollars, but some like the the hard copy, so you have that. Okay, so uh, there's your option. Here's the books. Okay, so I'm gonna scroll through. You can read on your own description of the, of the thing. If you're taking this class here, this is like to help you when you take accounting class, basic math, uh, how to do basic math, and when you're doing and when you're taking me for uh, uh, finance. Okay, the one thing in this class here now it's not required. I don't think I required to connect, learn smart. Da, 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 da. Uh, uh, required on here would be the financial calculator. Now, if I'm looking at a financial calculator, it's a B2 plus. It's about like. Nah, I want to say it's like $40, $35. I think the bookstore had it for $40. However, you could find a lot uh, a lot expensive uh, at a lesser cost. Uh, this one here works out well uh, when you're doing some of the homework. Uh, there is uh, a, a electronic uh, calculator you could utilize, but if you're taking a finance class, uh, it kind of introduces you to how to utilize 
the quirks of this calculator, the same kind of calculator I had when I took finance way back when I was going uh, in my, uh, as my associate, my bachelor's, and my master's, and then uh, for my uh, uh, doctorate. Uh, basically, you, you, the calculator hasn't changed any. Okay, so you, uh, a little bit about the expectation. Remember, open 24-7, works out well. You can read this all on your own. Uh, a student with this available uh, campus, equal withdrawal, da da da. Method, grading. Okay, now here's what you're looking at the grading. Just cl now I don't want you to uh, get too upset or freak out. There's going to be three exams uh, worth 100 points each, that's 300 points, and there is no final exam. Your final exam will be the last. Uh, I think four chapters that we'll be covering. Uh, this class is more of like a refresher in math. Most of you already had a lot of this information in high school and some of you already had in other classes or you've taken other math classes here at the college. So you, uh, you have a good idea. And when I something to deal with students in my face-to-face -face class during the daytime or during the uh, evening, you know this stuff, you just haven't utilized it. I mean, you know how the fraction, even when I had to do it, oh, geez, how do I do it to invert? Uh, how do I do the difference between multiplic uh, multiplication, division? Which ones do I uh, uh, turn around? Uh, how do you uh, put the commas and the decimals? What's the difference between decimals and percentages? And that's what this whole book is more like a refresher. Uh, uh, stuff you know, so don't be free. Uh, don't say, oh, man, I can't remember all this. The videos, it all come back. Trust me, you'll do well on this online class. So you'll have three exams. 100 points each, and I'll show you when we go uh, down the road. You have one exam that's worth uh, 200 points, and that'll be your last exam be, uh, uh, as your, your final, only the la covering the last uh, uh, four chapters. So it won't be that bad, okay? So you'll do very well. I want you to be successful, but this isn't like a survey class where I could uh, have some flexibility. When you finish this course here, you should at least remember how to do your fractions. Remember a little bit about your algebra when we're solving for the unknown. Remember the difference between uh, uh, what's an annuity, uh, interest rates, uh, discount rates. Everything you're learning here will help you when you take accounting. It'll help you when you take me for finance after you finish this class and your accounting classes. So you already know the basic math how to do the math so there's no leeway on this you didn't know it or you don't know it's like i took the course on driving a car and now i'm basically going to the for the testing center and driving the car you have to pass okay all right so you have those three exams that's worth 33 percent of your grade the exams are all going to be done within a, a connect uh, with through into the software that's why you have to get that software right away because you you got homework already done for the first six chapters and I'll talk about that okay then you have your connect assignment there's 22 chapters and there'll be 30 points for each chapter that's uh, uh, 660 points or 42 percent of your grade is going to be in the homework assignment the homeworks are interactive and, and I'll show you you know they got YouTube's you got videos they got practice quizzes better than in a classroom when you're talking to me because I can only do one thing at a time. You may already, I know this, and he, the instructor's going over. So you learn at your own pace. Math is something different. I could show you how to do the problem, but you're thinking just a little bit differently. You still get the thing. You may like to use percentages. I may like to use fractions. You still end up with the same answer. Is just presented in a different format, for lack of better words. Okay? So that's 43. Online discussion. There's going to be six online discussion. The first one's going to be real quickly. It's 20 point. And the uh, online discussions, you have to, the, uh, after, uh, in week two, I'll give you a problem or I'll give you an assignment to look at, maybe into banking or look at something so you could tie in something that you understand. Mine is not only for you to understand how to do the math calculation. Those are the basic uh, uh, formulas. Mind is to understand when I get the answer, what does that formula, what does that answer mean for a business person? What does it mean when I'm discounting it? What does it mean for compound interest? You understand, so you understand not only how to do the math, because once you do the math, you know, uh, whether you're using the calculator or Excel spreadsheets, uh, but you don't understand the relationship. What does that number mean? When you're talking to people, 
and I'm talking about a discount rate, or I'm talking about APR, an annual percentage rate. How do I break that down in simplistic terms that he or she understands that? Once you know the formula, you pl plug in the numbers. Okay, so that's 43% of your grade. Remember, it's an online class, and this is similar to what also happens in my face-to-face -face class. Online discussions replaces my uh, lectures when in the classroom. So those, you're going to do an intro. Hi, I'm George. Tell me a little bit about myself. Uh, and I'll go on to explain how that works. And then next week, you'll have a question posted to you. You have to respond to my question first before you see the other, uh, uh, your other classmates, virtual classmates' responses. What happens is a lot of people will uh, wait till other people come in and not do the homework and just kind of take a little bit of this person, a little bit of that person, and kind of come up with a similar answer or an answer. That's not fair. You will not be able to get into the, the forum discussion by week two unless you first post. To my question so if you're trying to play games and you're going to post something just to open it up and it does not respond to me i'm already, you're already down uh five points just like that respond to my question first and then you have a discussion then you look at somebody else's maybe how they what they presented or how they set up the problem and you go man that's kind of a good idea i didn't look at it this way remember the author is giving you the basic way that he or a majority of the people solve the problem. It's your template. After that, you kind of, you know I mean, a lot of times I'll be uh, doing a problem, I may skip one or two st steps. I didn't skip it. In my mind, I already combined it because it makes sense for me. But the students, you have to see step by step. So you do fine, okay? So that's what those are. The replacement of 300 says 20% per is to, so you have interaction, similar to what you'd be doing in a face-to-face -face class. The only best way to learn math or remember math is you have to sit at your own and figure it out just because the instructor does this way why is he doing that way what does that mean why did he bring this up why did he combine these why did he move all this to pluses on one side and the negative on the other side how does he solve it is not that hard i've done this in face to face you'll do very well you know a lot of this stuff it's more of a refresher in in, in a setup where you will do you'll pass this class Hopefully with a B and an A. But C is just good too, you know what I mean? I mean, look, some of us aren't ma a mathematician. I'm taking a workshop and uh, the math comes easy. English, uh, you know, my brain is not more in the English, in the language. But an English teacher, they get nervous taking a math class and a math person who does the numbers looks at it differently or an engineer looks at it and is a little bit more nervous uh, on the writing portion, okay? And then other assignments I throw in there, and these are just flexible depending on the class and what's going on. Now remember, this is an eight-week class, I mean 16-week class condensed into eight weeks, okay? So here's your total points. I just broke it down on percentages, ties into my business math. I could do just the points. What does that mean? Oh, I got uh, 1,520 points. What are the categories? Which one should I focus on? The way you look at it, you have to focus on all of them. If you're not going to do any discussion board, and you discussions are required. You're not. You have to do be active in in all of these. But if you don't do any discussions, that means you have to do excellent in everything else. That and you know, and you may only get a C or a D. Everything else in here, I want you to strive for the B and the A. Most of my students get B's and A's. You do the homework. I make you do the homework, a lot of uh, activities at home in your own time, so you do well. Try not to do all your work at the last day. Little in the time. Do a little discussion board, come back. Okay, so discussion board. <coughs> 50 points. You're required after my post. Gives you 20 points. Uh, uh, you know, after my post, you respond, and then you have to respond to two other individuals. So my post and one individual give you 20 points, and you respond to somebody else with some quality, and they'll give you the other uh, uh, 25 points, okay? Because it's, it's, it's split up. You respond to two other individuals after you respond to my homework assignment. All right, and I could change it. I don't do any curves because this is like a foundational class. You need it. Okay, online, you know, any kind of difficulties, connect is the outages. Look at the website, uh, they've got their, they got 24 seven. Uh, you have any kind of connect program, it's not part of Blackboard. You have, to, it's the publishers, you call them up. They have a computer individuals that will be able to assist you at your home computer. Maybe you have some uh, firewall issues or you may not have something up there that you can't see the homework and that's their expertise. 
always ask for an instant instant number and what will happen is I'll get an email and I'll see if I have to make any modification or adjustments to your grade depending what they tell me if it's on their issue I'll try to make uh, make you whole so you don't have to worry about that okay your discussion board questions right so we have all that Okay, course exams for blah, blah, blah. It's all going to be in there. Extra credit. You, eh, most people won't need any extra credit. Your discussions are open Monday through sa uh, to Saturday. First posting done by Wednesday. I give you enough time to read the material and to respond. Last posting Saturday uh, 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 at midnight p.m. Okay, you miss it. It's turned off. You no longer can discuss. Okay, I'll connect homework. Okay, now your homeworks are all done. Uh, through Monday, uh, through uh, 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 Saturdays for all your Connect homework. Sunday, I'll leave open only for your exams. Okay? Are we good? Read that. Okay, it's not here. Now, first week, when you look at what we're going to be covering, six chapters. Dr. George, are you crazy? These are easy six chapters. They're going to talk about whole numbers. Give me a whole number. So you do some addition. Fractions. They're going to just show you how to do fractions. So you just remember your mind. How to do multiplications. How you combine fractions. What's a common denominator? Basic terms. It's a refresher. Banking. Talk a little bit about interest rates. Uh, 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 okay. Solving for unknown. Very little about algebra. How you move the uh, set up with the X and the Y. You'll do fine. I have PowerPoints that I did from my previous classes. They have arrows. Uh, the publisher has PowerPoints. I'll show you everything else we get in there. All right. And then percentages and different. Remember, there's a different. You got a 0 .00 percentage. That's not the same as just 0 .05. And you'll remember that. What's a decimal? What's a percentage? Okay, and then you'll have your first exam. Now, your first exam, when you look at it, I I I have it here. Do because uh, usually you'll have uh, certain sections, and you have the exam. And exams are always done on uh, uh, by Sunday. You know, you know I mean, it'll be open by Friday, and you complete it by Sunday uh, midnight. Since this is the first week, get the passcode. You could go to the website. You could go to a Harper uh, uh, Bookstore and get that passcode and get that homework done. The homework, when you look at the Connect homework, they're about uh, anywhere with 24 minutes. I brought them down for 24 minutes. So you'll have 24 minutes, that's 25. Uh, you figure you got a couple hours of work, just read the material, do the Connect homework, and then you should be able to do the exam. But I opened up the exam, I left the exam open all the way to the 24th, I think that's like a Tuesday or a Wednesday. Enough time to do the material catch up. After you're caught up, you'll do well. Well, you should be doing three chapters a week, and then, you know, so you do three chapters, and then you'll do the exam. I sometimes, uh, I was always, I was contemplating what should I do uh, after you do, you know, three chapters, should I do the quiz right away, and then start away. I, I, I didn't want to overburden you with too much ex uh, exams. So let's see how this works. Remember, I've got a disclaimer here that I could change the course requirements. You'll still get the same points instead of 100 points for the exam. Uh, which all the exams are, I will just say 50 and 50. L let me work on that. I want to see how it comes out after the first exam and couple exams, okay? And remember, this is an, a 16-week course in eight weeks. You, I've done this and uh, I've done this course in six weeks. People got the B's and the A's and, you know, face-to-face. -face, this is uh, the first time I'm doing this on an online uh, session. And the reason I said I would do it online because it's an interactive software. I'll talk to you and the uh, videos. Excellent. The, the publisher did a good job. Jobs. Well worth it, okay. And your final report. Okay, this, this is my pop-up menu. Jeez, oh, I got more pop-up menu. I'm live. Okay, now go in here, and so, and then uh, when you get close to the end, I know you have other uh, classes because this is at the uh, if you're taking me for an eight-week uh, session, either in the summer or uh, or even if you're taking me for 16 weeks, you have a little more time. So just look at the syllabi. It's still the same orientation. Are we good? All right, so I'm going to close this off. You have that printed out. Now, let's see what we have in here. You're going to come in here. You have some information about me. Okay, faculty, this is Blackboard. Most of you should be familiar. You click on here. Uh, you have my page. That's who I am. It kind of looks the same. You know, different shirt. You have my syllabus. This course orientation. This section here is basically homework assignment. Was connect homework assignment using Blackboard. And you'll have this YouTube will be in here. I a lot of times do linkage. What you have to be aware of that all your homework assignments. 
will be under this area here, which would be your uh, uh, week one. Right now, you don't see all these. I have these turned off. You'll see week one. After week one finishes, I'll turn everything off, and you'll start the next week. This helps you keep in pace. It helps you from falling behind. Just make sure you do a little bit every day during the week, just like I do. I have several classes. I have this one. I have a couple of finance classes. I teach another school. I do my uh, personal con uh, consulting. Uh, uh, so when I'm looking at this, you just have to do a little at a time. You can do it. It's time management. That's all business is about. That's why people hire Harper student colleges, because you understand how to do the research, you know how to do the homework, and you have a good time management. Okay? So I'll go back and to there now you connect homework now let me just show you even though the weekly assignments when you go in this week you will have just to connect homework for that week some students like to work ahead I do I have some extra time or <laughs> these first six chapters what a breeze do I wait till next week no so what I've done because I like you guys and I want you to be successful because we're open 24-7. Sometimes I'm online doing my forum discussions 2 in the morning, can't sleep. I do a couple of read some of the students' information. Not that you're going to put me to sleep, similar to what you do when you read uh, uh, some of the homework. Look, if you're a morning person, then that's when you do your best to re uh, do uh, your math. If you're an evening person, try to do your homework at nighttime. It doesn't make any sense you're doing homework and you're falling asleep. Go to sleep, get your power nap, and then come back and do your homework fresh and figure it out. You have the leisure. Okay, so so uh, what I've done though, remember in this week, if you click on here, week one, you'll have everything for the week one. You got connect homework, and you've noticed in here, these are all links that are connected here. Some people, so if I don't have the week open, week two, for some reason, I forgot to put the right date on there or you want to do it ahead of time and I'm open up on Monday or Sunday and you go, oh, just I'm going to get the homework. You could come, whenever you have the link, that means you could come in here and those are already ready for you. This just makes one-stop shopping for you for those who aren't familiar with uh, a Blackboard or taking an online class. Some students will go right in here and not go into the weekly assignment. Or they go to weekly assignment, make sure there isn't you missed because it may not be in here, but there's another way to do your homework. Okay? So when you, uh, and you always click back on here and you're back into your week. Here's the discussion board. Again, you could go directly into the discussion board here. Here's your exam. Your exams are in your Connect or Connect software exam, not a Blackboard exam. I try to do a little different in here since it's a week, eight week class and I'll just do everything else through the Connect software because uh, uh, it works out well for this online class. It will not be available for you till that Friday when the exam is due according to the syllabus and it'll be open to that Sunday and then it turns off. It doesn't turn off after if you if you turn in, in late it takes one percent off for every day you're late. Eventually you, you know, it makes my job easier it gives you that flexibility. It'd be no different than if I paid my payment, my insurance payment, or my uh, Visa card late. What happens? I pay it late, I pay a penalty. So it reduces it. That's your interest, your percentage is how much you will pay. So here, I just work in, re in reverse, and I take a percentage, uh, one or two percent off every day you're late until you complete the homework. Okay? So let's go into my Learn Smart. Now remember, these are the links in here. Here's the first connect, and they all have points. So do you see what I mean? So the first time, and then here's your exams, but the exam uh, due date 24th. Remember, when you click on it and you go in there, it will you won't have it won't be available till that Friday. To, uh, right now, exam one will be open, but if I go in here, exam two, this one won't be open until that week of November 5th. And, and it'll be open for Friday. Uh, it opens up Friday, and then you have to send it and complete it. Uh, otherwise, it starts being late. So the first time, how do I get into it? I have my passcode. I come in here, and I click on to my connect. This is an orientation. It takes a little while. And you see, uh, now I'm in a little bit different uh, uh, program because I'm the instructor. You will most likely come into here and look like this, preview. So here's how many points. And here's how you do it. You'll go on here, click on there. It'll tell you about how to man 
move within the connect software so look at that you completed this and then they'll ask you some questions worth eight points okay you've got different questions question two you'll just video and then it'll go back okay so you're all right on this one now one thing i want you to understand about connect before i go on and then later on i'm going to go on as a student and, and explain the other stuff you could always go to your home section and connect now this is mine so you'll have all your homeworks and the due dates on there that's already beyond there you'll see my face you have everything else from a student's perspective i'm in the student's view i'll look at the student's view okay this is what you'll see so you know when to do available when you see on the 20th available that means you can't do them but all this other time you could do your homework Here's the ebook. You could get your information. Here's your performance. What is my grade? When you complete the assignments in Connect, it'll basically. Now, here's how Connect. I've been using Learn Smart Connect. These are all Learn Smart. So you'll see the uh, thing. The LS stands for Learn Smart Chapter. Learn Smart, you have from this time the due date. Once you start it, you could do it. It's not that you have to finish it in that day. You can do it, come back, and you keep on doing it till it stops asking you questions, and then you'll get a, a grade. They'll transfer the grade into Blackboard. If for some reason the grade doesn't transfer, that's why you go into your performance. Do you see where you're at? And you look at your reports. Here's your assi uh, assignments, your results, your stats, your item, your at-risk reports, and you can see everything else. Okay. Now you all are you okay? When you finish the homework, what's the beauty about Connect software? And you'll learn that when you go through there. And some of you already utilize McGraw-Hill Connect. I teach, there's another publisher that utilizes uh, uh, um, uh, my uh, finance lab or my uh, biz lab, another publisher. Right now, this is McGraw-Hill. They're utilizing Connect, accounting, business, anything that, it's an integrated software. So you click on there, you do your, you could read the book, and let me just go on here. I go on this one here on fractions. Okay, so I'm in the smart book. I'm going in here. It's loading me up. See, it has a fraction. It tells me you could read the book, ebook. It has a vocabulary, objectives. Uh, text is dim because right now it's less relevant. It'll talk to you about fractions. It'll give you all the information. You look at that. You look at the next second. This is ebooks. You go through here. And then at the end, I think they have it where you're coming in here. Next highlight, next section. Keep on going. It tells you, it shows you the problems. It walks you through it. It tells you everything you have. You also have for this one here, you click on this one and this is. Welcome to Learning Unit 2 3. Let's see what it has in store for us. So, number one. It walks you through it just like you would be in the classroom. I'm not going to go through it. And you can make it bigger. You could stop it. So, tell, it, it, she, it does it good. That's what, they're one of the authors. So, you should be all right. You go through here. Extra quiz problems. You know what I mean? You could work on them. You have your end of the chapter problems. Uh, you could work on these. Some of them I assign. You see the Excel. If you look at the Excel for the problem, it'll show you the Excel. Utilize Excel. In business, when you're looking at that, if you're taking me for finance or accounting, it's all Excel driven. You don't have to be an expert in Excel, but at least look at the, the things. You're just plugging the number. What I tell students when you're looking at the templates, look how they set up the problems in the top uh, portion on there right and i think the uh, uh, part of the library this is how to use excel okay again now here you have her again and then this one is still her talking are we good you have problems you have everything you want you know the issues so you do pretty good on this are you okay all right so i'm going to get out of this one i close the smart book Go through the orientation, makes sense. Now your library. What you have in your library as a student, right? You have uh, you have the e-books. Am I as my student? Uh, okay. You have your Learn Smart library. You have your fractions. What's assigned? I think I'm back into uh, my courses. All right. So if I'm going to the library, you'll have a section here that says uh, students uh, uh, resources. There you could go. Let's see if I could go in here. Okay, okay. Uh, students' resources. What do you'll find out, see this click on student, and I'll, I'll put that in here. 
what you have in here, you have a Word document. You just did this one, and since I had the older version, I'll show you how that works. You have all the problems here, and you do a click and follow. You have YouTube for that chapter, so if I want this, I just go Control, and I click on this uh, Chapter 1 Summary. It says that because it's outside source. Okay. Uh, what the heck do I got it? Uh, well, it should work. Oh, there we go. This is the Let's author. Now look at the summary practice test. It this helps you the take the exam. Do you see how this whole yeah. software works? So when you're taking the test, do the summary practice test. Remember, the test that you see in Connect, they're pulling off from the same test bank as you see here. Even though they're random, but you'll have a good idea how to do the homework. Okay, now most of the Connect homeworks, okay, I logged myself out of here. Hang on here, so I gotta close this off. Okay, so we're in here. I just made a mistake by clicking the wrong thing. We're live. Okay, let me just go on here. Oh, I'm back. Let me, uh, let me just close this off because I was in the Learn Smart. All right, or right, Connect Learn Smart. Let me get out of here. I'm stuck in here. Okay. So remember, so you could either go back to, so how you got here, you, you got here to your, um, uh, uh, instead of going back to the return to Blackboard, you go to your uh, uh, your home page. My computer's acting up, so I'm going to go back into my Blackboard course. So you have everything in here. All these homeworks are ahead of time. You could do them. You won't see them in the grade book, but you'll see them in the performance. So make sure you do them. The first time you have to log into something, you click on here. So let me let me see. I'm going to go in here. I'm going to go into student mode. Okay, I'm already at a half an hour. This is what you see as a student. I'm a student now. My faculty information, my syllabus, my court, my weekly assignment. All I see is week one. <coughs> you have your slate of resources. These are uh, access to, uh, uh, look, uh, these are the resources, the document I showed you. You can print it out in case you forgot how, got, uh, uh, how I got them when I went through my library. These are chapter videos that are here from the last edition. I still had access from the students, so you could go in here, and then you have the videos for that section. And I, uh, I, I have them all in there for you, okay? Uh, learning one, practice test. All you had to do is click what chapter you're on. Even though this was the 11th edition, the math, the formulas don't change. It's an updated with, uh, well, some of the problems change. Some of the uh, new rules change in banking and some of the interests, uh, 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 maybe new software, just brought in uh, current information. So you'll still be able to do the math. Fractions are fractions. As I learned them when I'm older, the same way you solve them this way, okay? So that's available for you, all right, as a student. Look at that uh, uh, course material. On here, it just tells you a little bit about a course, you know, how to study, uh, okay. McGraw-Hill, here's where you log in, go to my section. Here's the section that they ask you, what's your uh, uh, ID number? This is the number you give them. Uh, section WR, online, Dr. Machaki, this is the number. If you have any issues in here, and you diagnose here, you have any, learn about McGraw-Hill. Look at some of this, uh, uh, the library, the Learn Smart, the lectures. Okay, so that's your site. I'll put it in here. Uh, there's a 1-800 site I'll put it in there. Publishers videos. Again, I've got it for chapter one. Uh, you know, information. i got to clean some of this up. Uh, student support. Okay, you've got everything else here. Look at where you need it. This is it. How do I do? How do I utilize Blackboard? How do I utilize some of the other information um, uh, uh, from Harper? If it's Blackboard Harper, you go to the uh, to the help desk here at Harper. Okay, I have in there uh, my grades. Always check your grades. What you're going to see here's all the upcoming grades. Some of them I have hidden. I'll hide from you because I created all these. So I'll hide them so it doesn't freak you out. You will only see this week's. The rest will be hidden, but they're still there. When I say hidden, so students are going to go, oh my goodness, it's so overwhelming. I give you your work for this week and your grades, and then I'll open up the next week. Uh, uh, remember, you could always do everything else in here, remember, in your weekly assignment, because I have the links in there, or you could do them to, uh, uh, all the way out there. Are we good? 
And so check your grades. This is always going to be your current grade. Uh, let's see, uh, class introduction, grade, 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 grade. Uh, current grade in class, I will put this one up on top. So you always see, if you didn't do any homework, how your grades affect it. Part of this course is that I, uh, on online, you always know the ramifications if you forgot something. You always know what grade you'll be getting out of this class. Okay? So far, so good. Publishers. Now, you have here what I have as chapters uh, of PowerPoints. These are the PowerPoints I did when I did them back in 2012 or something, my face-to-face. -face. These are not narrative PowerPoints. These are PowerPoints. I think in the library you could get the publisher's PowerPoints. You click on them, and what the, this tells you how to utilize the PowerPoint. You click on the PowerPoint, and then if I'm going fractions, you go on here, and you know, it'll open this up. These are my old ones. It'll still work. Remember the new PowerPoint, everything will work. If you don't have PowerPoints, part of the part of the things that was uh, Robin, she changed this. Uh, I, I let her use my PowerPoints on here, so I was, uh, uh, so she rechanged them out. Uh, I haven't changed anything else with the PowerPoints, but you basically have to go and uh, click on them, and they'll work through them. All right, remember, part of the instructors, we share PowerPoints. I've created them. I share them with other instructors. Same thing with uh, Dr. Robin. We both teach this class face-to-face uh, -face and online. We share each other's uh, work. Uh, it helps us so we don't have to redo everything else. Just like uh, It's like a collective uh, uh, learning or a study group. Okay? All right, so you have that information. It's from the, the other instructor. Uh, it basically goes step by step and it has the arrow. You have to just go into the view uh, section on here. Okay, let me just show you on that. Okay, uh, well, I have that in here. Okay, uh, learning chapter, modules, publishers, videos, chapters. So you have everything on here. Now let's go into our weekly assignment. The first thing you're going to have to do, okay, orientation, you look into this video. You're going to look at the discussion board. There's several things I want you to look at this discussion board. Read this first in the discussion board. It tells me that you read it. You're not grading. I see you. Remember, part of the whole thing, if you don't click on it and look at it, I know you didn't look at it. So down the road, and if you got a poor grade, you're going to say, I didn't know I had to do this or this, blah, blah, blah. Hey, you never looked at this. You lost a point. So that explains it. The other things are, again, there's a discussion. So you click on this, and basically what you're going to do on here, and you'll go right into the discussion. I don't know if I could do it because I'm an instructor, so it's okay. All right? But you, oh, here you go. So you, you, here's your discussion board. You look at it, and you click on it, and it just tells me that you, uh, you looked at it. All right? And then here's the one you really need to know. Uh, the one you're going to be looking at is this one here. It's not available here. Uh, I'm in the student's grade. You're going to come in this one here. It says introduction. You're going to click on here, and you're going to create a thread. Remember, you just said, hi, you're responding to me. My name is Doctor. I told you something, and then you respond back to her. Hi, Doctor. Uh, uh, hi. Um, George from Chicago. Okay, and then just say something, and just go test. Da, 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 da. Uh, this is a test. You gotta be careful. This is a test for my orientation. Okay, got a good speller. Always try to use the person's first name so I, it's easier to follow the threads. Hi, George. This is a test for my orientation. Or, hi, Dr. George. And then your last name, George. It's easier for when you start doing the threads, okay? And that's it. And then you just submit it. And there you have it. And I have one publishing. And then you could go on. And you read other people. So now if you want to respond to this one, you go, oh, let me respond again. Are you okay? So that's your discussion board. Make sure you do that. And let's see what else we have to do. I've got the discussion board. We went with Slater's resources, weekly assignments. So everything you really need is right here in the weekly assignments. You do your Connect Learn Smart here. Remember? Uh, look at the syllabus. Uh, here's the old uh, PowerPoint orientations. Here's McGraw Hill's link. So if you have any questions, the first time you uh, you click on any of the Learn Smart assignments, remember when I'm in here 
and I click on the assignments. These are links to here. You could go directly. So for some reason, the class is not up there or your smartphone and you're running around. There's an app for Blackboard. There's an app for McGraw-Hill uh, LearnSmart Connect. You could do it. Just remember, an app is a smaller version of the full thing. So if I click on here, it basically just takes me back to where I am. Are you already registered? This is the first time you have to do it. You put your college, your Harper College G email address with the e do. This password is any password you want. It's not tied in with, the, uh, with, with Harper College, but most students you keep the same password. For consistency, put it in there and then sign in. Okay. At that time, it'll ask you for your passcode. Or right now, if you 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 had uh, if you're already connected, if not, you register and if you click on the register, you put the email and you submit. At that time, it's going to ask you for the passcode. Also, if you don't have the passcode, you have two weeks before you get the finance. Or, or you almost need the book. Don't even think about it. You, uh, you know what I mean? But you could have a two-week trial to start the homework assignment so you don't fall. I know some people waiting for financial aid or because of your paycheck. You get paid every two weeks. And so you have to come up with the $90. It's part of the learning. Get it done, but don't fall behind. Start your homework now, and you'll have a. Uh, it'll be a training. Yeah, you know. What I mean, you could do it until the two weeks ends, and then it's going to say, "I can't access it." You need to put in the passcode. When you purchase a book and you get the passcode, don't throw away. It comes. It's, it's wrapped up in there. Uh, the ebook will give you. They'll send your passcode to your uh, to your email. What you need to do is when you let's say you did this you'll I'll have another link that says after you already uh, been using the trial version and now you want to put in the regular passcode you have to go to this other link there's like a two-step process so you're paired with this class because once you put in the passcode you're basically paired with this it's not going to ask you for the class uh, uh, for the passcode or registration anymore you may have other connect homework classes with other instructors it's a different passcode uh, so once you connect you could get you'll see all of them like you do on blackboard okay so here we are that's it this is my introduction I'm at 40 minutes which is a little less than an hour i'm happy again my name is dr george machaki this is uh, management um, uh, 150 uh, or uh, uh, business math procedures this is to help you get to reinforce or help you remember, or maybe for some of you that uh, you didn't remember your high school days, uh, or to learn the first six chapters. The reason that it's six chapters instead of just three, because a lot of the chapters are real easy. You know, uh, how many decimal points you go over, where do you place the comma, how do you uh, 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 take a uh, uh, a number and write it out. You know, uh, how do you do uh, set up the you know what's a common denominator a little bit of algebra, how to solve for X and Y, so you'll have a good, it's a basic class. Most people zip through this real quickly. All the Connect homework assignments here are anywhere from, uh, uh, if you read the book, remember, you have to read the book, anywhere from, uh, uh, the, the max is 24 minutes. So if you read the book, have a good idea, you go in there and you do the assignments. Uh, uh, 24 minutes, you probably have like 24 questions. If you're very familiar with you know, uh, the question, it'll ask you once or twice. If you don't know it, it'll put you into the ebook section where you should read it again, or it'll, t it'll show you uh, uh, YouTube, or look at the YouTube uh, uh, at the end when you go in here where it says uh, resources. Remember, I got all the links. Or you could go in here where it says chapter learning modules from the old uh, version. Very still similar, just different problems, and you should do well on that. You should be able to get a B or an A out of this class. Some students end up with a C, that's fine. This is a fundamental class. This is a basic class to make sure you understand your math portion. So when you take me for finance or you take other instructors for accounting or other or, uh, financial classes that you, you have to take here for your degree in business or in finance or in marketing, you at least know the basics, how to do the math, and then you know how to use 
a, a financial calculator. I would invest in that if you're going to take, if you're going for business management and finance as a requirement. And then when you go for your bachelor's or your master's, you still use the same calculator. They've got the uh, YouTubes here, how to utilize the TI calculator. They also have this one, more of a scientific. This one's a little bit harder because you got to program all the uh, uh, formulas in there. This one already has the formulas on here real easy you have to do the present value net present value you have to do discount rate interest rate how much of a car payment all this is right in here you just press the question you understand the top, uh, top of the keys uh, here you do well on that. all right so either one works well or if uh, uh this is the only class you're going to take in math and you're a very uh, thrifty individual they have the financial calculators <coughs> already um uh, 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 software in here or remember how do I use the calculator when you go into the library section the student resources they have everything else in the wherever when I showed you um, let me go back in here I've got uh, a few more minutes I just want to make sure you, I, I want you to understand all the resources remember when I look at this one here it's got that document it's the word document has all the links in here uh, remember always make sure and enable so you can get in there it has the videos in here. It has a financial calculator guide, uh, electronic uh, uh, for different calculators, business application, measuring profitability, introduction to uh, a TI calculator. If I ain't mistaken, I think this is a regular financial. That that's this one here is the business one that they're always talking about, and this one here is the scientific uh, one for those who. Don't want to sp uh, spend another one. I think that if you go online, you probably get some apps already uh, to download in here, so you don't have to go through the whole process of uh, uh, of uh, coming up with a present value and interest rates. Uh, I, I haven't used it because I teach the finance and uh, and this business math class, and uh, this is the one that I would uh, normally recommend for this course. It makes your life easier. Okay, remember you always got to practice uh, homework. You have uh, the summary and you'll do very well in this class. Anything else we could talk about? Anything else you want to say? Are we good? So I'm uh, done in here. So remember, lo log in, uh, look around, uh, go to your weekly assignments, buy the book right off the bat. First thing you do, don't even look around, buy the book. Remember, make sure you get the Slater's book uh, and get the passcode and you'll be, uh, you'll be in sync. And then um, waiting for you to see your first discussion, introduce yourself, introduce to some of your classmates, some of you may know them. And then we'll also have, if you notice on the discussion board down in here, you have, uh, for lack of better words, uh, we'll have uh, next week, you'll have like a math chat water cooler. If there's some kind of issues, either you could respond to them as a student, just like you do in business, or I will respond to you with a question. Help each other out. Part of this whole class in business, this is a math class, is networking. This class, remember, it's not a survey class that you get to see. You have to know the math before you go to do the accounting, before you take me for finance. So you have to have, a, you know, you're a little rusty. I'm tuning you up. I'm getting you to bring your confidence up. So if you get a C, a B, or an A, just great. So when you go to accounting and say you got an A and you don't know how to do fraction or you don't know how percentage, you say, who taught you accounting? How did you get an A in business math and you don't even know how to add numbers or you don't know where to put the commas? You don't know the difference between the fraction or a, a percentage and a decimal. That's why I say there's no latitude. You have to learn this and people will do well. And I, with the software and all the tools and everything you have, eight weeks will go like this. There's 16 weeks in the eight-week course, no final exam. Final exam, the last four chapters. And because uh, that's, you, you, you got to learn it. Uh, even if you got the C, even a D. A D will pass you, but a D is not transferable. Anything about, so try for this, uh, for the C. But uh, I think 80% of the class, from your percentage, and the other part of the stat, uh, probability 80% to uh, 70 to 80% will be in my Bs and As.
from previous experience and talking to my uh, the other instructor who teaches this online. Uh, she has a higher percentage of B's and A's. All right. Again, my name is Dr. George Pachaki, and thank you for taking this class. And it'll go fast. It's open 24-7. Get the book. Let's get going. And I'll see you in the discussion board and help each other out. And this will be an interesting uh, uh, course. And for those of you, this is the first time in uh, uh, taking an online class. I thought online classes for a, for a while here in another school. Everything will help you. Every week you will have a short recording, maybe 20 minutes, telling you what you did right, what you should be looking for going forward. So just some interaction. I'm taking the course now, a workshop, how to do a, a Blackboard Collaborate. Davey will meet a, 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 like a goal meeting through Blackboard so we could talk and ask any questions uh, uh, live, but everyone has to sign in at the same time. I'm still looking at that. Maybe, maybe that's some of my extra homework. But otherwise, welcome. You'll do well. I'm here to help you. Uh, Harper College is to help you. Some of you, if you're stuck on this, I just had, uh, as a last note, uh, Harper College does have a math tutoring section that helps you in this class, Management 150, also in accounting, and also for your finance class if you're going to be taking it down the road. So I'll see you online, and have a nice day. I'm exactly at 50 minutes, under one hour. Great orientation. So remember, don't worry about what uh, semester this is because I'm teaching several classes online. It may not be your class, but it's the same uh, uh, thing. So the first thing you have to do is what? I go into my weekly home. I look at the orientation, look at the video, go on my weekly homework, and go for there or start coming in and looking around, look at all the resources. Bye. I think I have to. I'm talking. Uh, let's see if my. Uh, I have to just turn you off. Let's see how many minutes. Ah, 50 minutes and 30, uh, 41 seconds, and I'll see you online. If you see him on campus, say, hey, Dr. George, how you doing? And uh, uh, I'm on your uh, uh, Management 150 online class. It's always nice to meet people.